What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com and this is one I've looked at before and showed some anomalies on it and I got an email from Mick from the UK. Uh, this is a viewer request. He sent me some neat things on this one. I hadn't seen or if I did see him before I didn't point them out too well. So I wanted to come back and take another look at this video because there was a couple anomalies in this that I really didn't go over too well last time I was there. This is a wonderful picture. If you've been collecting with me now, if you go back to all my other videos, basically I put all the links under description so you can download them too. Um, like I said, I'm not telling you. What I say here is what I think I see, what I'm equating it to Earth in my life, what I've seen, what I've studied, stuff like that. You're not going to see the same thing as me. So it's not worth your time to sit here and say, you know, oh, I don't see that. But if you do see something interesting, speak up. You know, if you want to call me a kook, well, save your breath. You know, I really could care less. You're not getting at me. Um, so anyway, here's where he sent, here's what he wanted me to take a look at. And then we're going to go through and take a look at some of the other stuff here. He was looking at this right here as it comes out. And basically a lot of us here believe that Mars either was a planet that uh, had life like ours did. And uh, basically, it, it something happened. The atmosphere was lost, uh, not all the way lost, but lost enough to where life possibly had to go underground, uh, where either A, it still exists today, or no, it doesn't at all. Um, I know you think that might sound crazy because we've been told that you know Mars is this lifeless, dead planet. But if you go ahead and just type in on my – well, go to my page and just look at, say, uh, water on Mars or trees on Mars, and you might start thinking differently. So – Let's take a look at this. So I'm thinking a lot of this stuff is just buried in the years and years and possibly millions of years of sand. Uh, so a lot of this stuff is is not going to look, you know, sharp, crisp. We're going to see uh, what we're looking for are things that look like they could have been made by machines or cut or, you know, shaved by man or possibly things that aren't even uh, of this type of, uh, you know, aren't even here, like like metals and things like that. And what happens is all these pictures that come back from the rover, they come back with this weird tint on it. And we're going to go ahead and remove some of that tint and do some, like, uh, you know, half white balancing, whatever they call it here at NASA. Here's where you get the picture at, but don't worry about that. All you got to do is click on the YouTube link here, hit description, and go down, and it's going to be in the description box. You just click it right there. And uh, let's go ahead and bring this one up here, and let's have a gander at it. Um, what's, we're going to go ahead and uh, what I want to do first is basically uh, this is Photoshop. So I'm going to hit the auto color and it's going to it's going to look at this picture and make it see what it should look like to it. So let's do the auto color and it's going to take away that haze. Automatically it says this stuff doesn't seem like it belongs here. So let's get it out of there. And uh, that's what it does. So all right, let's take a look at some of these anomalies here. And this is interesting. This looks like it's some sort of uh, peg coming out or something something along those lines. Um, it's definitely looks like it's got the symmetry of a uh, you know something that was built at one time. I don't see many rocks out there, and, and it's hard to equate this stuff to Earth. But sometimes you know that's what I do here. Um, that's what I that's what I, my brain does because I live on Earth. So what do you guys think about that? And uh, next to it here, this is an interesting. See how this looks to be blurred out some, and this is gonna the whole thing gets blurry. Let me do a little bit of a smart sharpen here. Let me sharpen it. Um, let me just do sharpen more, see what happens. Ew, way too much. <laughs> Let me see. Sharpen uh, just to give it a little bit. That doesn't do what I want it to do. We'll just do it how I like doing it. We'll pull it out with the gamma. And well, I'll, I'll do this whole little area right here because also what we're looking at right here is this is the other thing he sent me. And this does just like a tool. Um, it it um, Mick, he said he's from the UK. He sent me this. He's uh, says he's a. Let's see where he said he. I got so many couple emails back and forth. He's an engineer um, in construction and uh, contracting that type of work. I do believe so. He's he's seen what building materials and stuff look like. But this definitely does seem to be like a wrench or something like that, some sort of tool. And uh, what I was going to do, and what we're going to do now is let's uh, let's mess with the gamma and the contrast a little bit on this and see what we can get. See if we can just pull it out a little bit more. I like when we pull the gamma up on these and then maybe play a little bit with the brightness and the offset here. Hmm. This is see how it comes down in this figure eight right here. To me, that's very unnatural. It's, it does look a lot more blurred here. It looks almost like they used the blur tool and just blurred right here a little bit when it came down. You know, that's possibly maybe maybe not, but. 
let's take a look also so as we go through this photograph there's also a lot of other anomalies on here and, and one being right away that I saw that right off the bat doesn't look normal to me is this right over here it's the uh, what well, seems to be sticking straight up out of it and let me do I feel like I don't have the best resolution of this but I know I do it's got to be let me do the uh, let me do something here let me hit because you can download like 10 different resolutions of these pictures like from different websites and I got this one from the NASA that's that's the right resolution right here it's just not let me do this let me do image image size let me pump it up to 300 so see I've got a huge screen here and uh, that that might make it look a little bit better as we pull it up on the bigger screen and see because see over here this up here how it's sits straight up i hate to say what it looks like but yeah you guys got you can say what that looks like in your head <laughs> i think you see where i'm going with it and that alone looks to be some sort of hitch or something that's coming up out of there okay that's much better that does help see how you got a little bit more clarity here now it makes the picture much bigger of course um but we can deal with much bigger and uh take a look at some of that and let me just go ahead and we'll do the adjustments. Let's do the exposure. Give it a little bit of con gamma. See what it comes up as. And you can see. Definitely has, like I said, this thing's definitely straight up out of it. And uh, let me go ahead and hit OK on that and pull it up. Let's bring it up really big on the screen. Because what's interesting is it looks like it has, at the top, it looks to have like a uh, some sort of ridge in it up at the top and maybe something on the top of it. it almost looks like a ball hitch down here it seems to have a base around it like this may have been you know buried but not maybe this wasn't buried maybe this is the top of something you know um, it almost looks like a hitch or something like along those lines that we'd have here let's go through some of these just interesting rocks over here um, that seems to have a lot of symmetry see this right here it's got this line across it perfectly straight as it comes along this is a curved perfectly curved um, it kind of looks like it's sitting upside down it almost looks like this was slide on something you can't really go i'd say this has a circle thing right here but you can't go with the with as uh as unclear as these videos can be not the videos but the pictures can be um, that was an interesting rock to me but Mick, I think has got there. That definitely seems to be, and even right next to this uh, over here, here was here's the tool thing he was looking at right here. Man, that looks like a tool. It definitely does. It looks like something you can strike something with. Um, and then up here, this too also looks to be an interesting color. Let me come around down here. And this right here, see how it just gets so blurred out. Um, but it looks perfectly rounded off there and almost like it's got a bevel on it and it comes you know, around and down and it flattens out like this right here could have been stuck on something and uh, it would look fairly well um, what do we have here this seems to be some sort of tool maybe possibly as well it looks like a perfect curve there around the corner um, even has some uh, like some lines in it I don't know. This is one of those ones I thought were really interesting, especially I was, I'm glad he brought that back up because I had taken a look at this picture before and uh, maybe not this exact one. I think what, what I took one was where this piece right here was down here and there's some, oh, yes, I was just about to say there's more anomalies up here and there's one right there. This, this tell me this doesn't look like some sort of medallion or something. Let me do this. This has got definitely got something going on with this one and uh, I've done this one in a picture and that's why I, uh, and this was a this was over a little bit more so there and and it was a little bit more sharper on the other one it's amazing how two pictures right next to each other one can look so much better than the other all right image adjustment exposure and this will be the last little piece we do get the gamma up on it you can see the colors change difference in it the actual structure of it and what looks to be a base i do believe this could was sitting up at one time and uh, possibly was a statue of some sort so maybe a little effigy see that looked at the face with the arm right here another arm a leg and a leg and uh, just like any statue almost like if you, you, you everybody's played with those little army men when they were kids or you've got children to play with the army men the plastic little plastic cheap ones you get at the you know pharmacy toy store or anywhere for you know dollar store well on the bottom they've got that plastic that, that sits on and it just looks just like this piece right there so 
I definitely think I knew that had something else in this picture, and it was going to be there just because it's just so funny how well our brains, the guys who are doing this, have seen these pictures so many times, and we come to this just just by remembering that little piece right there that that uh, sticks up, looks like a hitch of some sorts. Um, we got that that just you know struck my memory. This here too looks like something interesting. And see how cut that looks down to the bottom, and over here looks to see some sort of little green gargoyle pointing that way. Eyes, mouth, little ear. That's just what I see. Like I said, I see what I see. You see what you see. We'll meet in the middle maybe. Let me go back to what Mick saw one more time. Look at that interesting thing popping out of there. That looks like a leg to something. And see how it looks buried in there. And right there, look at the little purple. I mean, if we really get it, look at that. That's a perfect spear next to it there. So it looks to be part of that, whatever it is. And once again, that does seem to be a wrench right there, some sort of striking stick or something. What's Up in the Sky 37? Come check out my website at www.whatsupinthesky.com. Hit like comment let me know what you guys think much love to you guys got a couple more videos to do tonight i'm going to try and get to so much to do so much to do so much little time i uh working and starting other like i said I, I program probably 10 or 15 websites stuff that i don't even talk about because it has nothing to do with mars so and i and i don't promote because they're just websites i work for you know i do side work other than what i do for work so i'm a very hard working individual and i really do trying to get to your emails all the time i've got a couple I, I probably have about 50 to 100 emails that really need videos made for them so i promise guys i'm getting to you and please don't stop sending me stuff i will get to you at each and everybody person if i can i will either reply back to you or i'll make you a video so i still have to do the ufo one for my friend mel she's got been sending us stuff all the time and and uh, she wants to know what's going on. So I'm going to try to do that this weekend. It might be a little bit. I don't, I'm trying to figure out how to present the information to you guys. Um, this format seems to work. You know, to me, it seems like a real lame format. I'm like in my room talking to you guys. But hey, if it works for you guys, it works for me. Much love. Peace.